Hello everyone, welcome to the To The Moon Holiday Special Minisode. So right now you'll be looking at art for To The Moon, since this minisode has no menu, and it just starts up and starts going as soon as I open it. And before that happens, I would really like to explain that this is a free holiday special minisode that is intended for those who have already experienced To The Moon. So if you haven't, I would highly recommend checking it out. It's one of the most emotional and beautiful games I've ever had the pleasure of playing. So I strongly recommend it. It's such a good game. There's plenty of playthroughs out there that you can watch, I'm sure, and you can also get it for yourself from the official site, from Steam, from Desora, from GOG.com. There's probably other places, too. I'll have links to all of that, as well as a link to where you can play this free mini for yourself in the description. So as is usual with my playstyle, I'm going to take my time. Uh, I'd like to analyze things a bit as I go, especially towards the end. And I think that all that's all there is to mention. All right, let me start it up and let's begin. Hey, Ava. Come to my office. I've got some... Neil, where are you? The meeting started an hour ago. What? <laughs> oh, good job. Wait. There's no meeting today. Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Twice in one day. Really? Besides, that's actually dangerous. What if it hits my head without tipping over? But you still made it hit my head. That's different. Yours is pretty thick. Well, I still got you once. Excuse me for giving you a chance to even the scores. But seriously, Drop by. I actually do have something to show you. Just... give me a few first. You gonna go say hi to them at the party downstairs? Mm, maybe later. Grab me a drink if you go. Alright, so here we are, back in the shoes of Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind. And, as always, Dr. Watts is a bumbling buffoon. Alright, so I can use the mouse to control, or I can use the arrow keys, which might be more comfortable. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll use the mouse for now. Hmm. Where should I go? I don't know. Random door. Just see what's inside. Office of Dr. Robert Lynn. I don't know who that is. Office of Dr. Ava Rosalind. Rosalind. That's my office. Let's go check it out. Looks like a respectable office. It's got tables. It has walls. It even has a plant. Ooh, is that a book? Dear Diary. Today, I... Shoot, I can't just leave my diary out like this. Better lock it away before someone sees. 
Oh, good idea. Let's go see if Dr. Lin is in. Oh, actually, I don't think I can. Nope, it's locked. Office of Dr. Roxanne Winters. Alright. And that is, of course, Watt's office. I'm supposed to give him a few. I suppose it actually has been a few, hasn't it? Office of Dr. Logan Boswell. Alright, let's go speak to him. Hey, it's not ready yet. You said a few minutes. It's been a few minutes. Come on. All right, all right, Watts. Are those security cams? They're either security cameras or very strangely oriented lights. Hmm. Office of Dr. Willis McMillan. Lisa Vasquez, or Vas Vasquez. Tama McMillan. Oh, Tama McMillan. And Willis McMillan. Eddie Doyle. D Wait, what? Doctor <laughs> Doctor Washroom? Um, I, that's a very strange name, or it's probably just a bathroom. Okay, it's just a bathroom. Wait, is that actually a security camera? Because if it is, then there's a security camera in the bathroom, which is kind of really creepy. Although, if it doesn't look over the stalls, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? After all, the most it could see would be you washing your hands. I don't know, it's still just kind of creepy though, isn't it? I'm not actually running this game in full screen, by the way, and I think it's running at 640 by 480 so it's actually a postage stamp to me. So, if it's easy to identify this stuff, but I can't just because it's really small, that might be why. But let's go downstairs. Phone call. What? I just remembered. Could you also give me some cake with that drink? <laughs> Very needy, Watts. You know, you could just come down, right, and get it yourself. What, am I your errand boy? How do you know there'd be cake? There's always cake, and I want it. Well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. Hey. So, which is it? Neil? I'm thinking. Look, I gotta go. Uh, I'll call you back. Oh, hey Ava. Roxy? You alright? Huh? Oh. Well, we went outside to get something from the car, and... Well, you know. Them again, huh? Well, it is that time of the year. Look, don't tell the others, okay? I don't want everyone to be all tensed up about it. Hmm. Maybe it'll be all cleared by the time everyone leaves. I hope so. Come on, let's go see what the others are up to. Mm-hmm. So what exactly is Neil up to? I would almost think it's something serious if it wasn't for the fact that he's always a complete bumbling buffoon. Hmm. Up 
party! Yeah! Yeah, so from what I read about this minisode, and of course it's a holiday special, so as you'd expect from that, it's... It's supposed to be pretty cheerful. Which is kind of a nice change of pace from To The Moon. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was, um... I guess I would describe it as a bittersweet game. But... It was also incredibly sad and heartbreaking. So I don't think this is, and I'm certainly hoping it won't be, because it'll be a nice change of pace. I don't know if I'm ready for another To The Moon. Well, let's have a chat with everyone. Ooh, presents. They're all for me, right? They've got to be for me. Hey, Willis. Looks like Logan's pulling a move on your girl over there. Wait, what? <laughs> she, ain't go she ain't going anywhere. Oh, I don't know, Willis. Logan does sing like an angel. I do? Yeah, Willis. And I heard he's an exquisite dancer, too. I am? Well, I got three strands of hair on my head, and each one of them is willing to fight him in the parking lot. Okay, this is getting too weird for me. <laughs> hey, Ava. Hey, how did that last mission go? I heard you guys ran into some complications. It was fine. Bureaucracy just got in the way. But I'm trying to forget about work now. There's enough of that to go around later. Tama and I are discussing our tastes in early... I'm actually not sure how to pronounce that. Some sort of paintings. They're all good. Yes, yes they are. Ava, my dear. Good afternoon, Tama. You know, you never responded to that email I sent you about my nephew. I dashed a photo of him and everything. Uh, thanks, but I'm just not looking. Oh. It's that boy Neil, isn't it? What? No. I like to keep my personal and professional life separate. Wow, then that's just one more reason why my nephew is perfect for you. You two are going to be so happy together. <laughs> We're going to be so happy together. So she's already created a plan of getting together with her nephew. And we're destined to be together. Yeah, no, that's... No. That's weird. I'm not really sure what to do here, Ava. Since we have a full house today, Eddie was allowed to drink, but now he won't stop talking. Eh, maybe he just needs someone to listen. Yeah, that's what I fear the most. <laughs> you know what bugs me, Lisa? We can alter memories, yet I can neither make my hair as buoyant as Logan's, nor as silky as yours. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Nice hat. Look, I know it's hard to not think about it, but worrying doesn't fix anything. I know, but... What was your last patient's wish? Huh? Oh, well, she wished to see the world. And did she? Yeah, we took her all over. I even caught glimpses of places that I haven't been to. She was so happy. It sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for her. Hmm. 
You've helped a lot of people, Roxy. I'm sure if they could speak to you, they'd all tell you. What's out there right now doesn't change that. I guess so. I do feel better thinking of that. Thanks, Ava. It's the holidays. Don't let it ruin the mood. Mm-hmm. I just realized... Dr. Watts never told me what he wanted. It's either a drink or cake, right? I just love the feeling of crunchy snow under your feet. It's like popping bubble wraps for your boots. I can't wait for the next big snowfall. You know, I actually do love the sound of walking on snow. Hey! Don't go out right now, Ava. I know. Roxy told me. Those persistent buggers. Looks like they're there to stay. Ah, oh, that's gotta be Dr. Watts. Yeah? It's ready, Ava. Come over when you can. Wait, so... <laughs> what's ready? I don't know. I'm supposed to bring him something, though, right? Can I grab any of these drinks? Or cake? Or anything? Nah, you know what? Who cares? I'm not his waitress. If you want something, he can damn well go down the elevator and get it himself. Now, how do I leave? Excuse me, can someone please tell me how to leave this area? I don't know how to leave. I appear to be incapable of walking. Can anyone tell me how to use my arms? Where's the door? Okay, I think maybe I should use the keyboard. The mouse is a little bit weird. Okay. I'm hoping he hasn't placed another thing of water over the door. Okay, looks trap-free. Shut the door. Uh, why? Because I'm supposed to be using this computer for work, remember? If Rob saw, he'd be all like, Slacking off again, Neil. Durr. What is that? Here, have my seat. Remember that? Please tell me you folded it yourself. Lighten up. There were hundreds of them. Besides, it's not like Lily and the kids have any use for them anyhow. And what good is it to you? Jumpstarting your memory for one. Now, launch that program. I don't know if I want to. Oh, come on. I worked hard on it. What the hell? To the Moon, a game by Neil Watts. What have you made? What? Ta-da! This is just plainly disrespectful. Hey now, video games are an art form. They passed the laws decades ago. Yeah, but this might make them revoke it. Sticks and stones, Ava. You haven't even played it yet. Go on, try it. Alright, let's let's play what Dr. Neil Watts has made. Ok, 
Okay. Right. Well, at the moment, it looks like there's no way to lose. Just go forwards. Ah, we come to an impasse. Do I go right or do I go up? Hmm. Let's go right. I thought maybe he was throwing an umbrella at my face. Nope. Can I pick that up? Neat. What does it do? Can I speak to you? Nope. Huh. Use the item to get through. And that, I think, is the platypus, right? Yeah, I remember that from To the Moon. Wasn't there like a... What was it? There's a... Wasn't there a recurring puzzle thing involving them or something? I have vague memories of it. Ah, I'm going to the top of a lighthouse, aren't I? Yeah. Looks familiar. Is that... That thing's gonna eat me, isn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. Ah, I got my health back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was dodging it again, but nope, don't need to. Alright, what's down here? Nothing. Oh, I see. I'm jumping up. Okay. Expert timing there on my part. Now that actually was expert timing. I'm pretty confident in saying that. I think I'm a MLG pro. Like, I should enter tournaments for Dr. Neil Watts to the moon game. I'm that good. I mean, let's be honest here. Alright, I'm trying to look at where I actually am, though. There's obviously a chair. And this is a table. So is this inside of the home? Hmm. Ah, I'll take the damage. Ah, oh God, I love that music. Ah, brings back memories. Is that slime? Alright, I can deal with that. Wait, what am I missing? What did I miss? I missed something. Oh no! I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough. I'm stuck. I'll never be able to get past this. Did... That actually didn't hurt me. I just went right through it. Wait, what did I miss? I didn't miss anything over here, right? No. That's just going to hurt me. Actually, it doesn't do anything. Oh, I see what I missed. Right, if I get it one more time, I think I'm actually going to die. Which would be kind of... 
kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Whatever, it's, it's just right back here. Did I actually die in this game? Oh my god, I did. Like I said, I totally need to enter some tournaments for this. I am that good. You can clearly see my skill. Ah, that music. the lighthouse. Wait a minute, I go to the other side, but what's up here? Well, lots of damage for one. I used to make games like this when I was your age. We have a crowd. What the? How cute! Is that floating head character you, Neil? How long have you guys been standing there? Seems like you've been slacking off again. Man, I told you he'd say that. Get out of my office, you guys. This is my private space. Shoo! Shoo! See, Ava? This is exactly what happens when you leave the door open. <sighs> Might as well go stretch my legs. Just realized you didn't, you didn't get me a drink. You can keep on playing, though. Alright, I will. Hmm, what is this thing? I don't know what those are. There you go. You know, that music is actually, it's very joyful. And I love it, but it actually kind of makes me want to cry again. I just keep thinking of To the Moon. Look at that. 
<laughs> Look at where I'm going. Hey, Ava, did you... She left? Is the game just still running? Hmm. I guess I should go find her. Maybe she's in her office? Ava? No. Where did she go? I'm guessing either downstairs or to the bathroom. I guess downstairs. Not here. Psst! Neil! Are you looking for Ava? Yeah, how do you know? I just saw her down the hall looking upset. Wait, why is that assumed to be my fault? Well, when I look at your face, I get the feeling that you'd piss me off a lot if you were my partner. But I mean that in the nicest way. In what way could that possibly be nice? Never mind. Look, thanks for the info. I'll go check upstairs. Hmm. Maybe I should knock on the stalls in the bathroom? Should I have a chat with the other people while I'm here? Why not? Ugh, sorry about earlier. Eh, what happened earlier? You weren't there? Good. At least someone didn't see. And then you were all like, Feel my hair! Feel it! Man, I'm never drinking more than a shot of beer again. <laughs> Heard you were playing some game in your office again, huh? Rumors, clearly. Where did the others go? Well, Willis and Tama left for home, and I don't really know where Robert went. I'm surprised nobody here got called today. It was nice to have a peaceful gathering. Eh, we've already delayed the party, because Lisa and Eddie got called in last week. And yet you still don't come down to mingle with us. Tisk tisk. Wait, 
Where am I? I'm in a different place. There she is. Hey. You didn't finish the game. I've played enough of it. Don't tell me you're upset about the zombivas. Or zombie avas, depending on how you want to say it. You made them yourself, don't you remember? And it was clearly a joke, sheesh. I'd ask when you had become so uptight, but, you know. Come over here, Neil. Are you gonna punch me? I've been practicing my Karakuan Chun, you know. I'm telling you, my hands are like lightning. Even I can't contain my moves. Record show up, huh? Roxy said they'd been gathering since morning. That's quite some dedication for no pay. When I signed up for this job, I thought it'd be respectable. Fulfilling dreams and all. But those who'd thank us are, are the dead. And those who support us are the dying. You might not like how I do things, but I do them for the patient's sake. And more often than I'd like. For yours to save your sorry ass from getting fired. Yeah, good job with that. It's a feat. Do you think they're right? Hmm? All those people out there. They're all standing for what they think is right. Gee, I, I sure hope not. But hey, everybody has their beliefs. There are a lot of them, but don't forget that there are a lot of people with us too. Remember Lily? They aren't as outspoken, because those who those who are content rarely find the need to bother. But we have to remember that they're out there, and remember each patient we've once visited. Remember how hard we tried, and how they left this world with a smile in the place of a frown. Sometimes? That fleeting moment of shared happiness is all it takes to make it all worth it. Are you drunk, Neil? Hey, I'm just recycling Rob's BS here. Give me a break. But look, if what you're asking me, whether what we do matters, I guess it does for that brief fraction of a second before they pass on. Is that enough for you? Sometimes? I don't really know. How about you? Are you really happy doing this? Hey, I'm just happy that we make a lot of dough. Don't know about you, but I'm totally ballin'. At the grocery, I'm all like, heck yeah, I'll shell out five cents for a plastic bag. Here's a quarter. That's how I roll. You know, 
That game you made of it? It wasn't all terrible. I'm listening. I mean, the graphics are antique, and the gameplay is a pushover, but, uh... I'm surprised you still remembered all that Johnny and River stuff. Yeah, sorry about the zombie Avas. But hey, you should have really played till the end. All these zombie Avas rallied together and become the heroes to save the day. Really? Totally. And there's like fireworks and pom-poms as all the Johnnies and Rivers chant your name. Hmm. I guess I should go finish it then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not be hasty. The game's not going anywhere. You can go finish it in, uh, one, no, uh, two weeks. <laughs> just enough time, just enough time for him to make it. Hello. Thanks for the discount, but we're not looking for a premium snow plowing service right now. You should encode your number. That'll block most of the telemarketers. Just kidding. We're actually being drafted by a patient in critical condition. Wait, what? Understood. We'll be right over. Are you serious? Yeah. Come on. We can't afford to be late. You can't just joke around about these things. You're serious. Neil? And there we go. Well. Well, it's certainly not as... Just talking about the tone of it. It's certainly not as uh, sad as To the Moon, but I don't know. I still think it's... I still think it's bittersweet. Yeah, it is. Which is perfectly fine. That's not a complaint by any means. I just keep thinking about To the Moon. Oh, we can download this mini Minisodes bonus track tracks for free. Cool. I'll have to do that. Yeah, To the Moon. And this game, and well, like probably any game that he makes has really good soundtracks. I think he actually makes the music himself, doesn't he? I think so. But yeah, anything in, I, I don't, to be honest, even if you set a game inside of the To The Moon sort of universe and made it as happy as can be, I think I would still find it depressing. But that, that's just how I am. Like, even the most joyful and happy thing of any sort, whether it's a game or a movie or a book, I always find it kind of depressing just because I'm sad when it's over. You know, if, if for no other reason, even if nothing actually sad happened within it. I'm just sad that it's over. That's just how I am. But it certainly brings back memories. Ah, <sighs> to the moon. I almost want to replay it, to the moon. But then I kind of don't. Because I'm kind of scared. I'm not even sure what I'm scared of, but... I just don't know if I want to go through that again. But anyway, yeah, to talk about this. It was a, uh, a neat little revisitation of the To The Moon universe. Revisiting uh, Dr. Watson and Rosalind. And getting to see them back at headquarters. Which is something that I don't believe we ever got to really see, did we? In To The Moon. 
I don't think so. Yeah, I don't believe we did. So it's neat to actually see the Sigmund Corporation. And it's fun just to revisit it. And you can see how they're remembering, you know, what, what happened in To the Moon and how much it matters to them. Because it would. I mean, think about it. Think about doing that sort of a job where your job is to go into the minds of, of dying people to fulfill their wishes and bring happiness to them in their last moments before they die. That is a job filled with... It's filled with everything. It's, it's, in, it's incredibly personal because you are literally going inside of their minds and you can see everything that makes them a person. All of their memories. And you're in it. You're in their memories. You can't have something more personal than that. That's that's like the extent of personal. And you're inside of that. And you're trying to fulfill their wish. Their wishes. And make them happy. That's such like... You know, some so a lot of people do jobs that they can leave behind at the door. You know, they don't they don't take their jobs home with them. But with a job like this, there's almost no way you can avoid that. It's the sort of job where you would bring it home with you. You just can't help it. You're dealing with people in an incredibly personal way. You're dealing with death. You're dealing with making people happy. You're you're making a huge difference in people's lives. And ironically, at the point of death, basically. You're going to feel all sorts of things. Uh, happiness, I guess, from, you know, making somebody's lives, somebody's life happier. And then also incredible sadness because you're just experiencing their memories and you know that they're about to die. It's an incredibly emotional and bittersweet job. I can't even imagine what it would do to your mind to be doing that. I can tell you right now, I couldn't do it. No way. There's absolutely no way I could do that. It'd be too much for me. And yeah, so this is a nice little revisitation, and it's interesting to see, uh, see some other things explored about it. Such as... Well, I guess, the, I guess the biggest new thing explored, really, is the fact that there's a lot of protesters. There's a lot of people that apparently do not like what they're doing. Which is something that we never got to see into the moon. We saw them at work, but we never knew what the sort of social perception of them was. And now we know. There's a significant amount of people that don't like it. For whatever reason. Maybe they think it's, it's people messing with or having more control over something than they should. Like, memories are something so fundamental and so integral to who you are as a person that they should never be touched. Maybe that's the angle they're coming at it from? I don't know. But it's interesting to see that introduced. And I believe a sequel to To the Moon is planned. And I'd really like to see them explore the explore even more of the psychological implications of doing such a job. I think that's really interesting to see that. I'd really like to see that myself. I'm just, right now I'm just imagining doing that job. Just, I, I couldn't do it. There's no way. Yeah. It's one of those jobs that makes me wonder, what kind of a person could do it? You know, what kind of a person would be attracted to that job? There's some jobs that are like that. You know, like another one that kind of makes me think that way is who would, who would work at 
a, uh, a funeral home, for example. Like, what kind of a person would do that? I don't mean that there's anything wrong with it. No, by no means. I just mean... I think that's the sort of job that most people could never even imagine doing. Because it would just be miserable and depressing. But some people obviously do do it. How? I think that's a really interesting thing to explore, actually. Is what kind of a person ends up in certain types of jobs. Because I'd imagine you'd end up with people with certain... Like, certain personalities would be more attracted to certain types of jobs. Anyway, that's kind of rambly, but that's just something interesting that I thought of. So yeah, this was a wonderful, as usual, and bittersweet revisitation of the To The Moon universe. I believe the next game that the creator plans to release is, what is it called, A Bird Story? The Bird... A, a Bird Story? It has Bird in the title, I know that. He's been working on it for a while, and I'm definitely going to be playing that. Very excited for it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through the To The Moon mini-sode, and thank you for watching.